This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 1208, How to Create a Bedtime Routine for Your Kids and Get Them to Sleep, part one, by Kara Harvey of a APurposeDrivenMom.com. Hello, everybody. My name is Greg Audino. I am your host and narrator, and I'm back again with a post for the parents who are listening. I've got good news for you guys, because as every parent knows, getting your kids to sleep is both difficult, uh, but also crucial for everyone involved. Today, though, Kara Harvey, who we've heard from so much over the years, is here to help you out with some tips for putting a good routine together. It's a long post, so I'll read between today and tomorrow. But without further ado, let's begin part one and optimize your life. How to Create a Bedtime Routine for Your Kids and Get Them to Sleep, Part 1, by Kara Harvey of APurposeDrivenMom.com. Discovering life lessons you teach your kids when you have a bedtime routine every day. Our kids need a bedtime routine to help them thrive, sleep better, and be happier. But does anyone else struggle to get your kids to go to bed when you ask and sleep through the night? So how do we do it? How can we get them to sleep and establish a bedtime routine that works? It's Thursday night, and it's Bible school night for our son. And this is just one of the weeknight things we are involved in depending on the season. Sometimes it's t-ball, softball for dad, etc. But regardless of the day of the week, bedtime battles are just not a thing in our house. So how does a bedtime routine help kids? Health. Being a sleep-deprived mom during the first year of your baby's life, I am sure you can speak to the wonders it is when you get a full night's sleep. Sleep is a must for growing kids and minds. Their bodies rejuvenate and growth hormones are released. It strengthens their immune systems and minds. Research shows that children who go to bed after 9 o'clock p.m. take longer to fall asleep, wake more often at night, and get less overall sleep. Mood I know when my kiddos are fully rested, they are happier, more active, and creative. When kids don't get enough sleep, they are more irritable and are prone to more behavioral problems. Security Our kids thrive on the fact that they know what's coming next. Our kids do well on routines, and most kids typically do. Routines give them a sense of security and help them develop self-discipline. What is the best way to establish a bedtime routine? With all of our kids, we found that starting a bedtime routine from a very young age was one of the best things we could have ever done. We have a large age gap between our kids, and even with that, it still works like wonders. Our 16-year-old prospers just as well as our 4- and 1-year-old does. Start a Bedtime Routine as an Infant From birth, I started the bedtime routines, but it really doesn't establish itself until around the six-week mark when babies finally start to show signs of sleepiness and adjusting to the outside world. I will also add, we don't co-sleep, and all of my children have been in a separate bed from birth. The first couple of months the baby is in our room, but in a bassinet-slash-pack-and-play setup, and after a couple of months, I switch them to their own room into the crib and with a full screen baby monitor. This is the way we started our kids when they were babies. 7 p.m. bath slash lotion slash PJs, etc. Songs, 7.30 p.m. bottle, wrap slash wearable sleep blanket, bed. No matter what, we stick to bedtimes unless it's an activity night, but the same routine will happen in the same order, just at a later time. Consistency. If there is one thing that I cannot stress enough, it is how consistency with a bedtime routine has made such a huge impact. Think about when your child is or was learning a new skill, such as their first words, actions, etc. Repeatedly, they were introduced or told how to say or do the skill. This very thing helps them to understand and master it. All of our kids can be told the very same words, no matter their age. When we tell them it's shower time, they immediately stop what they're doing and proceed to the kid's bathroom. Even my one-year-old, when told, okay, it's time to take a bath now, will climb the steps all the way to the bathroom and tries to brush her teeth. I could not make this stuff up if I tried. She literally climbs the stool and tries to reach for the toothbrush. How many hours should your kids sleep? There are many studies on how long babies, toddlers, kids, and teens should sleep. Also, a ton of sleep charts to help you determine the best amount. Babies need more sleep, and then the chart adjusts as they grow. Adjusting the sleep routine as they grow. 
If you were to enter my home at 8 p.m. on most days, again, when there are no activities, you won't find a kid in sight. Our teen will have already showered and is in her room, the toddler sleeping in his bed and the youngest in her crib. Now that the one-year-old can walk and she pretty much has all her teeth, our sleep routine has adjusted slightly in the fact that the teen must shower before the younger kids. I give the youngest a bath and then Big Brother takes a bath. The routine stays the same, except now from the previous baby routine, we have the following. 7 p.m. bath time, PJs, brush, book, prayers, songs, and bed. To be continued. You just listened to part one of the post titled, How to Create a Bedtime Routine for Your Kids and Get Them to Sleep, by Kara Harvey of apurposedrivenmom.com. Guys, it is officially 2022, and now is the time to set your wellness routine into action and prioritize your health. And our sponsor, Care of, gives you a vitamin routine that's personal, easy, effective, and constantly evolving. Care of is a subscription service that ships high quality, personalized vitamins and powders conveniently to your doorstep every month. So, how does Care of know which products are best for you? Well, the whole process starts with you taking a quick but thorough five minute quiz about your diet, lifestyle, and health concerns. Honestly, Care of has been great and helpful to me altogether, but I have to give a special shout out to that quiz. It was like talking to a nutritionist and was certainly the most fun I've ever had taking a quiz. And then the little individual vitamin packets I received afterwards were just so nice, very convenient. So, manage your stress this year the right way. For 50% off your first Care Of order, go to TakeCareOf.com and enter code ORD50. For 50% off your first Care Of order, go to TakeCareOf.com and enter code ORD50. All right, everyone, if you've been here for a while, you know the drill with the two-parters. I'm going to save my commentary for tomorrow after we've wrapped up the whole post, but I hope you parents have taken something from this first part and that you're excited to hear the rest, because I'm excited to share the rest. So have a great rest of your Thursday, everyone, and until tomorrow, that's where your optimal life awaits.